Okay, anyway, our next performer, he is a author. He is a performance poet. He is an actor. He is a musician. And he is James Crompton. So please welcome James to the stage. Thanks, Rob. Thanks very much for um, inviting me to be a part of this again. Um, yeah, my name's James. Uh, I've got a couple of poems for you tonight. Um, the first one I wrote while I was doing exams at university a long time ago. It's called The Night of the Furies. <laughs> um, it's a little bit scary. So if, if you're a little kitty and you get, get a bit scared, you just close your eyes and close your ears. I'm just going to put on my costume. It's got a happy ending though. Hear the Furies knocking, screaming, yelling, clanging. They give me no respite. They keep me up all night. They make an awful din. They want to be let in. But that would be a sin. I'll not let those demons in. Those Furies in the night, they give me no respite. I swear and shout and curse and pray, please make these Furies go away. But still they make their din. And I'll not let them in. Instead, I'll call the guard. They'll make these furies go, these furies in the night that give me no respite. The guard is here, to them I say, please make these furies go away, they're driving me insane. To me the guard replies, we've heard your awful cries, but all your grounds we've searched around, there are no furies to be found. And still I swear and curse and pray, please make these furies go away. Why can you not hear them? These furies and the din, they give me no respite. Please make them go away. I cannot sleep at night. Please make them go. But still, the guards insist. They've searched my grounds around. There are no furies to be found. And if I do persist to make this awful din, they'll cuff me around the wrists and in a cell they'll lock me in. Where is the justice in this town who help me beat these furies down? These demons that are constantly with awful cries haranguing me louder, still and louder. These furies will not rest. And all those fickle guards can do with vicious threats around me too. I'll have to ring my neighbor, my neighbor and my friend. He'll help me beat these furies and put them to their end. My neighbor, he replies, I have not heard their cries, but I will help you if you wish to make the noise subside. Oh, help me, help me, please. I cannot sleep at night. These furies keep me up all night. They never give me peace. Then how if I will, my friend, to put your furies to an end, but you must promise me that you will listen openly. I'll do anything you say to make these furies go away. They drive me up the wall, these furies banging on my door. Then here's my medicine to put your furies to an end. Listen carefully, and of these furies you'll be free. The furies are within that make this awful thing. That's why they scream and shout, they want to be let out. All you have to do is open your front door. You have locked them in, that's why they make their din. In order to restore the peace of mind you value, open your front door. That's all I have to tell you. So down the stairs I went ere long to prove my gentle neighbor wrong. Despite the fear that haunted me, I, I had to set my mind at ease. With trembling limbs and quaking knees, I found my way to my front door. And sure enough, there I saw furies flying round galore. They looked at me with fiery eyes. They yelled and screamed and screeched and cried. They bat and banged against the door and screamed and screeched and yelled some more with noses big and big sharp claws and gnashing teeth and bloody jaws and horns and wings and warty faces and did I mention big sharp claws? <laughs> These furies I can't well describe because I was so terrified but 
with my neighbours, gentle words. Courageously, I took my course through gnashing teeth and bloody jaws. I fought my way to my front door. I took the key from out my pocket, and soon I managed to unlock it. And in a flurry, out they went, those furies that had been hell-bent on making my life a misery. And so, at last, I was set free. My neighbour, he had rescued me. But what did follow, soon you'll see, was a magic mystery. For after being exercised, those furies metamorphosized. They were not furies anymore that took their leave from my front door, but a, a flurry of feathered wings, a heavenly choir of seraphims from my house took flight into the early morning light. And as they flew in merry throng, the air was filled with their sweet song. These furies that you hear are never actually there. Instead, what you aspire are angels in disguise.